And developing tonight, a man found shot to death in a Canton home, and now police are on the hunt for two suspects in this case. One of those people is charged with murder at this hour. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Delon Dillard. And I'm Rob Powers in tonight for Courtney. Thanks for joining us at 5. Right now, both suspects are still on the loose. News 5's Bob Jones tells us where this case stands now. Silver and red balloons tied around a telephone pole left behind to remember the life of 27-year-old Devin Meredith. Police say his death is being investigated as a murder, and the suspected killer is still on the loose. Any time that we have a homicide or a serious crime like that, and the suspect's still at large, obviously we're concerned. We're concerned for the safety of the community. Uh, we don't know where the subject lives or where they might be at. Police say Meredith was shot inside this home on 6th Street Southwest in a neighborhood that only has a few other houses and is mostly industrial. Detectives say he was discovered by a woman who came to the home around 1 p.m. yesterday. A family member of one of the residents was meeting a utility company there and that's when she discovered that there was a body. They were able to determine that there was a single gunshot wound to the head. Uh, there was no firearm located there, so it's being investigated as a homicide. We spoke with the victim's family and friends today, and his mother told News 5 this afternoon, I'm heartbroken. He was my whole world, and I want justice for my son. They destroyed a whole family. According to this police report, Devin Meredith lived in Maslin. So one question police have, what was he doing at the house in Canton? But there was no bigger question than who pulled the trigger and ended a young man's life. Within the last few hours, police may have answered that question, issuing warrants for two men charging 29-year-old Robert Torrance with murder and 48-year-old Thomas Humphrey with complicity to commit murder. Police say both men, wanted in connection with Meredith's death, remain at large, and when and if they're captured, bond will be set at half a million dollars. Anybody that has any information on this that might assist us, even if the tip seems really small to you, it might not be to us, you know, contact our detective bureau and, and let us know. In Canton, Bob Jones, News 5.